getting around in the daytime. Obviously, you guys, somebody dropped all the name tags over there. Um, chances are, with the EP, that what are the chances that you're actually going to be armed and doing something with the NG5s? Probably zero to none, but we're going to do it just for it to have some fun, anyways, if you guys are interested in that. We got the shop there. So they use airsoft and simulations. Does everybody know what simulations is? Yeah, yeah, so they use simulations here too. We're not going to be using simulations because they're not that expensive and you got to gear up big time for that. Yeah. So here's the main entry. We'll take a cat we'll walk, that way you can get it. See the whole facility. So we're going to do, it's, it's supposed to be a refresher, it's supposed to be an advanced course, so we're not supposed to cover everything. Uh, we have the slides on the PowerPoint, but we're going to blast through them, because, uh, so just take notes if you want. A lot of the stuff you can find on the internet already, you can look up EP and you'll see stuff come up left and right. The purpose of today is to actually apply, it, apply what you're learning. So that's why we're going to go through the classroom portion very quickly. So the first hour is going to be <clears throat> EP slides, talking about different stuff, formations and stuff like that. And then we're going to go into combatives. We're going to do a little bit, if, some, if anybody that's been through my combatives course, we're going to do a little bit different stuff today. We're going to actually do a little bit more of FMA, Filipino martial arts. Is anybody familiar with that? Okay. So we're going to apply that instead of a lot of, instead of some MMA today. We're going to, do, we're going to go a little hardcore. Then after that, Jay's going to do his... Uh, T triple C court uh, portion of the class. Now, to be certified in T triple C, you actually need to take probably anywhere between a two, two to four day course, five day course, to be certified. So, what we're going to do is teach you how to treat yourself, treat your buddy, and treat your client. However, you will not be T triple C certified because that takes a lot longer and it takes it's a lot more expensive. But you'll be able to fix yourself up. You'll be able to fix your buddy up or your client. Um, as well as CPR and first aid. So, but the Red Cross does charge to get certified. So if later on during the daytime you guys say, hey Vince, I want to get my, my Red Cross CPR certification. If we do CP, uh, CPR and first aid, well, if we have enough time to do it, then I'll, have, I'll just tell you, okay, give us an extra 20 bucks because that's what it costs to get the certification and we'll certify you today. Um, other than that, and then after that, what's going to happen is the rest is going to be drills, practical exercises. We're going to have you, hopefully, that's why I said, hopefully the rain lets up. Um, whoever, if there's any name tags left, but give this gentleman a name tag for, uh, so he can fill out his name. Um, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to start outside. We're, after we practice vehicle entry and exit, we're going to start that and do a practical drill to have you enter and practice movements into the rooms, how you would move through, through uh, hallways, um, how your advance team would come. That's probably going to be the, the area that we're going to consider uh, uh, where your client's going to hang out. And then by the end of the day, you're going to have to do an extract. Okay? So you'll have some, you'll have some uh, threats, um, you'll have some attackers, and um, you'll have to do an extraction. And your advance party will determine where the extraction point is. So hopefully you, uh, by the end of the day, you'll be able to apply all the techniques you learn um, and, and uh, learn how to effectively... Our, our main objective here is to be able to put you into a team and you be, be able to go. All right, so you get into the team, you, you know, if somebody drops you in on a detail, hey, can you work a detail? You're not gonna be there lost, like going, what the fuck do I do, where, where do I go? All right, so that's what this that's what this is gonna be capable of. Right? So we'll walk over here, you see that's the classroom, there's another room here. When we do the, when we get, when we start having some fun, the last hour of the day, depending on how late you guys wanna stay, We'll start, we can actually cover clearing rooms and stuff like that. Some good, some fun stuff. Okay, so we'll probably we'll probably do clearing the classroom, and then we'll probably work our way to here. For those of you that have never that have never done close quarters battle, if we go into this area, then you guys are into a nightmare. If you guys have done it, you'll know how much of a nightmare this area is just coming to this area. So, but depending on how much time you got and how how well you guys move and learn, we'll 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 let you guys have some fun. Um. 
This is the simulated bar area. Then you got a couple more smaller rooms. The current live scenario, when you're, when you're going to extract your client, when you're going to enter, bring your client in, you're going to extract the client. That's probably going to be what's considered our VIP room. And um, you're going to have to extract, but this, will be, this room will be in play as well. Okay? This, this is the hallway, and there's actually, uh, you can't see them from here, but there's two stairwells as well. And that actually, there's a stairwell that actually goes up to there too. So, you know, during, the, during when we do the, when the shoot house, you can actually shoot out from those windows. Hmm. Oh. The lights turn off, and there's a PA system too as well. So you can play music, loud noise, some type of psyop noises, or how, whatever you want to use. the fuselages. So when we get into the, the, uh, the physical portion, we're not going to have you running drills in here, but we're going to bring you guys all in and we're going to talk about how you would conduct protective protection and how you would protect your client and how you would move them to the safest area. There's two simulated restrooms. This, it looks like a jetliner inside. It's a fuselage to a 767. So there's seats in there. There's restroom, simulated restrooms and stuff. So we're, we'll, we'll bring you all in there and we'll talk about when you, when you fly with your client, where you should sit, where your client should sit, if you're working a two-man detail, where the other guy should sit, and how to move them through the aisles if you need to, okay? Any questions so far? So when we do the live portion, we're gonna probably move a vehicle right over there, and we're gonna have you get in for a minute, you know, enter the vehicle, exit the vehicle, bring, bring your client out, come all the way through here, learn in the classroom you're gonna to have to apply the same formation okay as well as advanced advanced party you're gonna to have to move them through here <clears throat> through these doors to start thinking about your advance okay <clears throat> and then you'll have to move them into the that what we consider the VIP room so from here you'll have to have your advanced team or your, your five-man team and figure out how you guys are going to move them here and make sure the area is safe prior to moving them in. Now let me show you guys the very, very last area I want to show you guys before we start the class. Remember this door in this hallway. Okay. Remember what it looks like. You won't be going up the stairs, but remember this area. Remember, just keep in your mind the snack bar here, Alan's snack bar. Okay. Because this is going to be your extraction point. All right. Good to go. You guys remember? You probably won't be able to come the same route, but. Okay. We'll, go, we'll move back now.